Hey, Ralph. That's me. Me and my boyfriend have been together for three years. He's obsessed with NFTs and the blockchain technology. It's all he talks about. He wanted me to get pregnant so I could turn my ultrasound into an NFT. He created a cryptocurrency for chores around the house. It's called Domesticoin. Because he refused to go back to work during the pandemic, he's able to amass huge number of domestic coins. Ralph, how do I cash out on this speculative investment in him? Kate. I'm going to be honest, Kate. It sounds like you're the speculative investment because that man knows the future. NFTs, blockchain, future. That's how it goes. I don't make the rules about the blockchain and the future. But as far as I know, from what I heard from a bunch of people I met on Clubhouse... NFTs is a new way of collecting art, all right? You can own it. Yeah, you know, some people will from time to time screenshot it and share it on their Instagrams. And, you know, share it. So it kind of doesn't matter if you own it. It's kind of an argument against NFTs if you think about it. But where he is ahead of the game... Kate, and I hate to break it to you, is Domesticoin. That's genius. Um, think about it, you know. Washing dishes get you a foot massage. You cash in a few Domesticoins. You know, you can cash in Domesticoins on other things like, oh, I don't want to go to your mom's house. I'm going to hang out at my house, so that's cool. You can ditch family events going, oh, I got five Domesticoins. I say, I'm not doing that. You know. He probably does use it, you know, nicely. He'll probably be like, here's Domesticoin. Shut the fuck up, you know. That's what I would do if I had domestic coin. But that was if I was him, not necessarily if I was me. I would never tell my girlfriend, shut the fuck up, because she'd kick my ass. In his situation, he's got domestic coins. And he's, he is the bank. He is the Federal Reserve. He is the blockchain. And I think domestic coin would actually keep people together, okay? At least you're, ex- it's open exchange. Like, instead of going, you know, my wife never, you know, gives me a blowjob. You know what I mean? She's got, you got domestic coin? You know, in theory, yes, that's prostitution because you're giving away currency for a blowjob. So you are technically turning your spouse into a prostitute. But if it's an agreement within the shared house of the currency known as domestic coin and the agreement has happened with the almighty blockchain, then I don't think it is prostitution. I think it's a fair exchange between two people in a, you know, free environment. It's all about freedom. That's what I've been told. I mean, do you even have enough domestic coins to dump him? I don't think you do. And, you know, I mean, he's he's an entrepreneur. You know, he's not going back to work. He's hanging out, you know, on the Internet, on the blockchain, making deals. Hey, he's gathering assets. If anything, you should quit your job and gather some assets, too, because in a future where everyone will own, own nothing and be happy, you'll be the only ones owning something, or at least part of the select few that own something. It might be a board ape, but you'll own something. You'll have something in your hand, technically, if you print it out. That's kind of the problem with digital assets. You don't really hold them, do you? I guess you could put them in a digital frame and have it play over and over. But that's battery power. So we run out of battery. No one can see it. So then it's kind of worthless in an apocalyptic future. There's no energy.